As floodwaters recede in the Zhupanska Posavina area, they reveal horrific levels of destruction and environmental pollution left behind. The police and the military have limited the entry to the area as there exists a threat of disease. Efforts have begun on putting up provisional flood barriers, which should stop water seeping into the flooded areas, but at the same time enabling it to recede. Also, huge efforts are being made to save farm animals, and so far some 9,000 have been saved, while some 19 tons of cattle carcasses had been removed from the area. The police have still not confirmed the information about a third victim of the floods in Croatia being found. Meanwhile, Interior Minister Ranko Ostojic has said that there had been attempts at looting, but the police had stopped a six-man gang in a boat. Ostojic added that the police would stop all such attempts using all the authority that they have in such a dire situation. The European Commissioner for Humanitarian Aid Kristalina Georgieva has toured the flood-stricken area and has promised assistance in emergency mosquito spraying. Speaking yesterday, Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic said that the European Union and Croatia, Bosnia and Serbia civil defense authorities were to join forces in alleviating the danger of disease spreading with EU helping fund the mosquito spraying planes fuel and spraying substances. And in other news, a two-day electoral blackout has commenced at midnight prior to the EU elections that will be held in Croatia on Sunday when 11 Croatian MEPs will be elected. The blackout ends at 7 p.m. on Sunday and until then any type of election advertising is banned. Top Croatian cocktail masters and their European colleagues took part in the flair tending competition held in the coastal resort of Pula. According to the propositions, each competitor had to prepare two cocktails in six minutes and at the same time leave a lasting impression on the audience and the expert jury. The classical cocktails preparation winner was Marian Maksan from Pula, while Dani Bakiev from Ukraine won the Trix cocktails preparation competition. And in sports, Croatian tennis ace Ivo Karlovic has made it into the finals of the ATP tournament in Düsseldorf by beating Czech Republic's Jerzy Veseli 7-6, 7-6. Karlovic is to now face German Philipp Kohlschreiber in the 10th final of his career. The Croatian football squad is in Austria, where the team members are preparing for the World Championships in Brazil. The 26-strong squad has completed its first training in front of some 400 supporters yesterday. The serious drills are to start today, with two training sessions planned for each day. And the Croatian volleyball team has managed a win in the second qualification tournament for next year's European Championships that will take place in Bulgaria and Italy. They beat Romania on home turf three sets to two. Got to play Montenegro today. And now for the weather for this afternoon. Partly sunny with changeable cloud and scattered rain and thunder showers. Winds light in the interior while light to moderate southwesterly and westerly along the coast, northwesterly in the open. Top temperatures between 23 and 28 degrees.